what is going on people welcome back to the channel guys so we have another bait review for y'all today now i just uh, went to walmart today and i saw these and i've not seen these at walmart before so i decided to get them these are evolved habitats this is the dirt bag uh this is the camo camo corn dirt bag now this is from uh driven with uh pat and nicole really don't know what they do but uh i guess uh, they make deer baits <laughs> and it said it looks like dirt attracts deer like crazy it is pretty much uh dried molasses what i've been told it's dirt colored crushed corn blend deer attractant and then uh you know it shows back here using it ultra concentrated real corn blend high fat and protein content designed to supplement your herds needs without giving away your location of your trophy buck so sounds like good stuff so i got this this is the camo corn and then down here i got this other one this is just a straight dirt bag it's just the dried molasses one so i figured uh what we could do is we could test them out right out here next to the creek and we'll put them one by one and uh, we'll see how they look. So the first one I'm gonna put down is the dirt bag. <laughs> dirt bag, that's funny. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna put that one probably right here. Yeah, so this is the dirt bag. Put this one. Oh guys, they're not even lying. It literally looks just like dirt. Yeah. Looks like a whole bunch of dirt. Sells smells smells like the uh, the uh, buck bourbon almost. It's like real sweet, almost smells like sweet dirt. It's really weird, so I'm just gonna put the whole pile right here. Looks like a big old pile of dirt, they're not even lying. Yeah. Awesome. And then right next to it, I'm gonna turn y'all a little bit. We're gonna put down, oh, starting to lean a little too much there, camera. There we go. Next, we're gonna put down the, uh, the camo corn. We're gonna put that one right about here. I want a good distance away from it. So you know which one is which, you know? But, uh,. Wow, this one looks exactly the same. Smells exactly the same too, check that out. There's not even any corn in there. It, it's just dirt. <laughs> it's sweet dirt. I mean, maybe there's crushed corn in here. I mean, it smells good. It smells really good. But yeah, we're gonna put it right here. Dump it out. Boom. Looks like dirt and looks like sand, but that is it. All right, so here's our two piles. Let me get y'all down here so you can see exactly what they look like. Like, no lie, looks like sand, like crushed rock sand. Very weird. And then this is, is the actual dirt bag. This is just the dried molasses right here. Looks uh, just like dirt. <laughs> they were not lying. I really, I really don't know how you can push a product and it just be called dirt bag. I mean, that's kind of funny. I guess it's a gimmick, but it's a very weird. It looks just like a dirt pile. So we're going to leave these out for five days, see what it draws in, if it attracts anything. If it does, I'm not going to lie, hand to God, I will be modestly surprised because of the appearance of it. Now, appearance isn't everything. Never judge a book by its cover. For all I know, the smell of this, like itself, the smell, could like drive all the animals in here crazy. And they'll just come over here and start doing it like Scarface, for all I know. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, the Evolved Habitats dirt bags. So we're going to see. As always, I'm going to give it five days out here and uh, we're going to catch it on camera. Got the camera right over there on the tree. And we're over the next five days, we're going to take all the videos and see what comes and eats this at this spot i know for sure i mean no corns involved so the crows are out of it so that'll be a good but for sure uh the possums they'll eat anything that i found out i'm probably sure the raccoons will come over here and find some way to eat it and then the good lord willing my 12 point buck will come back <laughs> that that is like the goal of this is to bring that buck back i don't know where he went I haven't seen him in almost three weeks i'm probably out here chasing a ghost for all i know but, you know, fingers crossed, I've heard of it happening. They'll disappear for months on end and come back. But enough about me. This is the dirt bags. 
And as always, guys, I will see y'all in five days. Five days. All right, y'all, it has officially been five days since we put out those two bags of dirt bags. Uh, one had the corn mixture and the other one was just a straight dirt bag, which I think are just hilarious names, to be honest with you. But I put them out and obviously they got a whole lot of action because both piles were completely gone. I mean, there was like nothing left at all. And I'm checking the SD card right now and there is 198 videos. So there is a lot. And since I don't wanna like make y'all watch every single one we're gonna do is just breeze through them kind of a little bit and just see what each one has. So we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, video number one, this one. So here's the first video. We got some crows walking around, checking it out. Pile's still big, so nothing's touched them yet. Crows. All right, first one up, the possum. Should have known, I, uh, I think I called that. <laughs> but uh, he's going to uh, that on the right side is the uh, just the regular dirt bag and then the one on the left side has the corn in it. <clears throat> so he's going straight down on the first one. And now he's over on the second pile with the corn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that other pile pretty much all demolished now? We went from 716 to 949. We're missing like over two hours there. And it looks like the possum over here is puking right now because he ate like both those piles. And he's back. That is a fat possum. I am gonna give this possum like diabetes because I feed. He's the first one on the bait pile. Every time I put him out here, he's the first one. Like the deer don't even really get a chance to eat because of this fat overgrown possum. All right, let's get uh, walking away. Sit down because he's so full. Has to catch his breath. All right, now he's walking away. All right, now we got this small skinny possum coming in to eat. Checking it out, checking it out. Okay, he's gonna try the regular dirt bag. And he's gone. Coming back, coming back. Right back on the corn. Right back on the corn. Mm -mm -mm. So, so far, it seems like the dirt bag with the corn in it is the fan favorite. But I want to know what happened in those two hours we were missing where the other pile got flattened out like that. Did maybe a possum walk through it or something? I don't know. It's a mystery. I would like to know the answer, but I don't think we are. But man, look at the size of this possum. He is huge. Okay, now he's checking out the other one. Nope, didn't want no part of it, walking away. Oh, circling back, circling back. Sniffing that pile, walking around it. Going to the one with the corn. Hmm. I know it's just a possum and it's not a deer or anything, but still, the fact of the matter is, is that animal chose to go around that pile there's a dog? Whose dog is this? Don't tell me the dog's about to eat that. The dog's eating it. Get out of here. <laughs> what? I don't even know whose dog this is. Poor girl, skinny as can be. It's sad. I'm sure she's starving. And she's eating apple dirt bag. <laughs> wow, poor dog. I feel bad for her. She's just going to town, goodness gracious. 
Oh, now she's gonna check out the other pile. Didn't want it. Went right back to the apple one. So, so far that's the possum and the dog that have both done that. Again, I know it's not a deer, but still, the fact of the matter is the animals are choosing to go to one side instead of the other. She's going to town. Let's skip forward a little bit. 11, 2, looking around. Looking around 11.03. Okay, she's gone. 11.06, she's gone. And we got the possum coming back at 12. Is this possum gonna eat that? Oh man, he's right on top of the pile. Look at that. That's probably why I got flat right there. He is on top of the pile. Uh -uh. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, now we got the two small ones. One on each pile. All right, so we're now officially in the next day. It's 1.39 in the morning. And just from there, guys, there was 35 clips of just the first day. That is insane. Possum. So at this point, the piles are pretty much worn down to the bits. They are, it's just like that much left at the bottom. These possums and the dog have absolutely put a hurting on these piles. Still going at it. That is insane. You would think after eating for three hours they would be full. Alright, so now we jumped what time? It was 5 57 a.m. to 4 32. So 12 hours have passed and uh, nothing to set the camera off. Uh, we got a crow looking around curiously, wondering what the heck happened here. And if only he would have known about the party with the possums, he might have joined. But anyway, skipping forward. Oh, and it's nighttime again. And the possum is back at it again. Eating, eating, walking away, eating, 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 running away, running away. Okay, we got two possums. And we got the dog again, really, again. And she is going to town on the left side again. Still skipping, 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 skipping. She done? Nope. I got it. So this dog has been here for around a little over 10 minutes now. Eating that left pile till it's nothing. And what blows my mind and it doesn't really even matter, but she's not even touching the other pile, which I find very interesting. Really, none of the animals are touching that pile unless they have to. Here comes the possum again. Didn't want no part of that other pile. Oh, no, he's getting the other pile now. See, they're at the point where they're having to scratch to uh, get what's left of it. So now it's day two. Yeah. Possum, 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 crows. Crows. Squirrels.
a murder of crows. Squirrels, 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 squirrels. Possum again. Possum again. No, no deer at all. And the dog's back again. Are you, are you serious? Whose dog is this? I feel bad for her. She might be astray and the fact that she's eaten pretty much the dirt is just heartbreaking. I feel bad. Just possums, possums, possums. <sighs> wow. And last clip is me looking, saying, what the heck happened here? All right, y'all, so there is all 198 videos. We kind of sped through because there's so much I didn't want to keep y'all waiting for so long. But uh, all I got to say is I'm a little disappointed there was no deer that came up, no deer at all. But I think that might be due to the, like, a whole bunch of stray dogs we've been having lately. Like, ever since, like, September, we've had a whole bunch of stray dogs just run around for some reason. And uh, we, we've tried to find the owners, but none of them have collars. So it's just been, it's been a mess. Uh, but I gotta say the one thing I am doing right is feeding the possums so much they are enjoying the bait reviews <laughs> They are absolutely loving it and that one possum has just gotten so fat like it is a fat fat possum And uh, it's really all we had we had a few squirrels a few crows uh, the possums and uh, that dog and that's really all we got so uh, And what's really interesting is they stuck to the left side the corn side They really didn't mess with the other side unless they absolutely had to so that tells me if I was gonna buy these baits again I would definitely go with the one with the corn in it because that seemed to be like the fan favorite in this video So I'd definitely go with that one uh, but all in all, a uh, pretty good bait review. Had a lot of videos. I think more than I've ever had on a bait review. 198 clips. That is just an insane amount of videos. So I do apologize if this video is uh, kind of long and that is why. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this bait review. If y'all have any baits that, uh, that you'd like me to review and do a video on, please leave them in the comments below. I really enjoy doing these. They're a lot of fun to do. But guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Will Action channel, guys. Please go ahead and click that red button for me and subscribe to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. Y'all are the reason I'm doing this. Uh, please make sure to give this video with a big thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you can get alerts as soon as more awesome trail camera videos like this shows up guys i love y'all y'all are the real ones i'll catch y'all in the next one peace